Hello, what is up guys? My name is Jana and I am a freshman at University of California, Los Angeles, otherwise known as UCLA. And I am making this video today because as a college student, um, my life has pretty much been turned upside down lately because of the pandemic that we're in right now. And I know that the same thing goes for a lot of other people out there. And it's sort of confusing and our normal routines have been thrown off and a lot of us are stuck at home. So I thought I'd make a video because I've had a lot of ideas with what to do while being at home um, with all this extra time and you know not being able to go outside. And I thought I would just share some of those ideas with you guys in case you know, you're getting antsy or bored or just like, oh my gosh, I'm dying to go outside, there's nothing to do. Um, check out this video. I'm gonna go over five things you can do while at home in quarantine, even if you're you know, completely away from the rest of the world all by yourself. These are five things that you can do with your time at home while we wait for this pandemic to fizzle out. Okay, the first one, thing number one, is super simple. It's just read or watch TV. Whatever is, you know, your cup of tea, whatever floats your boat more. Um, I personally find it difficult sometimes to read. I really have to be into the book, um, which luckily I have found a book that I'm really into. I'm reading Catcher in the Rye right now. But sometimes I just wanna watch TV. Big Bang Theory is my favorite show. I've just been binge watching Big Bang Theory. Um, because I have the time and you can just do it at home and it's easy. And that's something that I always want to do when I'm really busy and up at school, but I just never have the time to. I never have the time to watch a TV show at the end of the day or to read all the books that I have on my list. So now I have that time, you do too. Get in that bookshelf, find something that looks interesting or look at movies on Netflix. There's plenty out there right now. So just treat yourself and just read. Okay, thing number two, sorry, I'm having my good afternoon cup of coffee. Thing number two is thank you notes. This one is huge. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have learned that writing someone a thank you note is not only beneficial for the person you're writing the note to, but also for yourself. It's just practicing the act of gratitude, you know, and thinking about someone that has had a positive impact in your life. Um, so it's a really, really great exercise, and it's something that's just win-win all around because whoever gets the note is going to be so happy to receive it and just writing it is going to make you feel so good and make you recognize the people in your life that are important to you. So it's something that I've been working on. I've literally got my stack of notes right here and I'm still writing more. And um, if you want, you can even put like a little picture in it. I've got some photos that I'm going to be putting in the notes um, of me and the people that I'm sending them to. And it's just a nice gesture, you know, just to say, hey, thank you for being a great friend or a great aunt or a great teacher, um, you know, you had a great impact on my life and I wanna recognize you for that. Okay, activity number three is to cook something. Ah, I know, as college students, um, I never cook. <laughs> and so it's, it's like a foreign concept to me to like just go into the kitchen and make myself a meal. Um, but hey, you've got this downtime, you're at home, there's probably enough ingredients in, you know, your cupboard and fridge to make a meal for yourself. So just give it a try. Look up recipes on YouTube. Um, I made myself the other day banana pancakes and I had like whipped cream on them and chocolate syrup and little um, sliced bananas. And it was just like amazing. It was delicious. And it was so fun to make it. And I was just like, hey, I should try this more often. So if you are at home and you're not up at school, take advantage of having a kitchen and having ingredients and just try to make yourself something and see what you can do. All right, activity number four is spring cleaning. So I do this every spring anyway, but it's kind of working out nice that I'm at home right now. Um, spring cleaning, if you don't know what that means, is basically just kind of getting rid of anything you don't need anymore, anything that doesn't serve you. Um, if you've got clothes that you haven't worn in forever, give them away. If you have books that you're done reading, donate them to charity. Um, if you have toys that you haven't used since you were a kid, you know, anything you can think of really that isn't a part of your life anymore, consider donating it and giving it away to someone who will actually be able to use it and appreciate it. Um, it's something I've done every spring and I'm working on it right now. I've got a bunch of bags filled with, you know, clothes, books, toiletries, games, stuffed animals, everything in between. 
Um, and I'm just going to take it all and give it to, to charity. You can look up multiple charities. I'm sure there's a ton around your area. There's the Salvation Army. They come right to your door and pick it up for you. So you don't even have to go anywhere. You just put it outside your house. Um, so it's real easy. And it's just a good way to, to kind of organize your life and sort of declutter, you know. Alrighty, you guys, the fifth and final activity that I want you to practice with your downtime at home is all about you, and it is self-care. Self-care is so amazing. I'm a big believer in it all times of year, but right now we're going through a pandemic. It's scary. It's stressful. We don't know what the future holds, and so it's more important right now to practice self-care than ever. So whatever self-care might mean to you, um, whether it's, you know, doing hobbies that you just don't have time to do, like for me, I've got my guitar right next to me. Playing guitar is a hobby that I usually put off, you know, it gets put on the back burner. So I've just been playing guitar and messing around and writing songs, and that's been amazing. Um, self-care can also, you know, be more a traditional sense of doing a facial, taking a warm bath, you know, stuff like that to just really kind of, you know, show your body some love. Um, it's, it's a really, really good time to do that. And you don't need to go anywhere necessarily. Just being in your own home, you know, if you like to write, then write. If you like to scrapbook, then make a scrapbook, you know. Um, just things like that that sort of make you feel good and that you don't have time to do in your normal busy life. This is the time to do those things. Um, really ground yourself and remind yourself of the positive things in life. Um, so yeah, that's it, you guys. Those are the five things that you can do at home while in quarantine or while away from school. I hope you like this video and, um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks you for watching.